Wow. Welcome in, everybody. Day, I have three brand new sauces for you guys. Three. And, uh, well, two of them are brand new. One of them's been out for a little while. Uh, not a super long time. It's recently released, but it's not super, super, like, super brand new like the other two ones are. The other two ones are crazy brand new, um, just released. So, let's take a look at what we're trying today. And uh, we have Eye of the Scorpion from Hot Ones. Uh, this is a uh, hot sauce by Heat Mist, and some of you have might have seen this on Hot Ones before. It is uh, in their lineup in this season. And uh, this is a scorpion pepper sauce. I'm not I'm sure how far down on their list it is. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure it's pretty hot. Like, I'm, I'm sure it has some heat to it if it's scorpion pepper. Uh, moving on to the other two brand new sauces um, that I've never tried and that were just released. Uh, we have a medium sauce from Karma Sauce called Cosmic Dumpling Far Out Hot Sauce. So, um, just judging by the look and name of it, I'm guessing it's going to be more of a soy sauce based, um, Asian sauce, uh, that is like some of the other Asian sauces I've had before from like, uh, the one I've had from Volcano Pe or Volcanic, uh, Pepper Company. And, um, I'm guessing it's going to be probably, I mean, it looks like it, that it has dumplings and stuff on Asian dumplings on it. So I'm sure it's going to be really good. And last but not least, we have a brand new sauce from the mad scientist himself, smoking Ed Curry at Pucker Butts. And this is smoking Ed's picnic sauce. Let me get a good look at that one. Pretty basic label. Looks like you're sitting out in the picnic, pic, picnic, pit, not picnic, picnic. Uh, it is uh, from Pucker Butts. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, pretty basic looking sauce. I'm guessing it's not going to be super hot, but I'll have to see what's inside of it. Um, uh, before we get started, uh, if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. And, uh, head over to our merch store where we have masks, shirts, sweatshirts. We're going to have a bunch more stuff up on there soon. Uh, you can grab those and, uh, they'll be mailed directly to you as soon as you order. So, uh, yeah, just swing over there and check it out. See if you want to rep some, uh, piece of heat merch. Uh, your own piece of heat shirt and that would be super cool so I kind of want to do the smoking Ed ones last but I know that that's probably not going to be the hot one um, I had a scorpions definitely going to be the hotter hotter one out of the three um, so I might start in the middle and then end on what I think will probably be the best tasting one which is the smoking Ed's uh, sauce so I'll, I'll probably start with the cosmic dumpling sauce from Karma. Now, I've had Karma sauces before. Karma is really good. I like Karma sauces a lot. It's called Far Out Hot Sauce. Small batch made by uh, Karma Sauce Rochester, New York. The former home of the Royals before they came to Cincinnati. They were in Rochester. Or Rochester or whatever you want to call it. I uh, gave up space science to make great sauces. Lucky for me, I found a great crew for the journey. From dirt farming to slicing and dicing, we do all of that so you can create amazing meals. Gene O, the founder. Blast off into the cosmos and enter a umami multiverse. So right there already it says umami, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, dip, dunk, pour, want amazing wings, toss. Uh, could a sauce this tasty really come from humans? Probe life's mysteries one delicious bite at a time. Clever. That's a that's a clever little uh, thing to have on there. That's that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Made in the USA, 5% of profits go to charity. So, hey, good for them. Um, visit us at karmasauces.com. Boldly crafted for meals that matter. So, one thing I can say is that Karma does have, like, really flavorful sauces. Um, and let's see what the ingredients are in this one. Uh, rice wine vinegar, red jalapeno peppers, tamari, which is water, soybeans, salt and alcohol, uh, brown sugar, orange juice, garlic, tomato paste, uh, lemon juice, honey, sesame oil, ginger, cilantro, and orange zest. So just by the sound of that ingredients list, it sounds like it is going to be very, very tasty. So let's go ahead and get this popped off here and opened up. 
Like I said, these are brand new sauces. These two just came out. I don't know if, actually if they're even out yet to buy. They might, but let's we'll see. All right, pretty uh, pretty big, uh, pretty big lid. Has a large lid on it. Let's see if it has its pop. It does not have a pop. Ooh. So yeah, one hundred percent getting that like soy sauce like kind of smell the same as almost what the volcanic had mm. smells super good you can kind of smell the, the jalapenos a little bit and the red jalapenos so you know there's going to be a, a little bit of spice on this i like red jalapenos just pop them in eat them so uh, actually it has a little bit more body to it than i thought it did I mean, it's not, it's still thin, but it's not like super, super, super thin. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Not as, it has a little bit of that flavor, that like soy saucy flavor, but it has a little bit of like that, like, um, like gooiness to it that like wing sauce like mango habanero has so the consistency is very different than what like the volcanic peppers ones was this is like more of a gooey i don't know if you can see like on the outside right there it has more of like a gooey finish to it and it has a little bit of that soy sauce flavor but you're getting a lot of that, that like zestiness from like the oranges and the lemons and that, in my opinion, I think this would be way better on wings than anything. This tastes like a, would be phenomenal on wings. Man, that is so good. That's not what I was expecting at all as far as the way that that tasted. Heat-wise, really nothing. There's not really any heat to it at all. Um, there's a, like a little, little bit of, of throat burn. Um, but it's not even enough to even, like, you know, think twice about. Um... You can taste the brown sugar, that's for sure. Um, the jalapenos come through a little bit, but you're mainly just getting the orange zest and the um, and the uh, orange juice and stuff like that. Uh, very sweet, very uh, very good, good sauce. I would love this on wings. I'm definitely going to make some wings with this because that is very, very good wing sauce in my opinion. Very, very good sauce. That's also why they said in the thing, if you want wings, to throw them on some wings. That's, that's the right way. So, yeah, man, check those out. Karma Karma Sauce is the Cosmic Dumpling. Uh, you can grab it at karmasauce.com. All right, let's move on. The Eye of the Scorpion. Now, this is one of the newer sauces from Heat Nest, And this is uh, one of the ones featured on Hot Ones. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my cat trying to break into the room because she can't stand being alone. Uh... <laughs> Um, but no, this is, um, never had this, this sauce before. I'm not hundred percent sure where it ranks at as far as like where exactly on the list of like sauces on hot ones, uh, where it's at this season. I don't know how far down it is. Um, but I'm guessing it is going to be fairly hot. Probably not crazy hot, but fairly hot. So let's see what it says. Uh, Isla Scorpion stings your tongue. And blurs your vision with one two punch of scorpion pepper and scorpion powder. Uh, with the hit of garlic, it's great for cooking. Just remember to have ventilation going. This fire breathing monster is not for the faint of heart. Label art by Matthew Henning. And then um, let's see the ingredients. Now, they always make their ingredients so small, it's so hard to like even read it. Uh, scorpion pepper, distilled vinegar, uh, canola oil, garlic, salt, scorpion pepper powder. So there's really not much in it. The most that's in it right off the bat, number one ingredient, scorpion peppers, um, scorpion peppers and vinegar. So outside of the canola oil, the garlic and the salt, for the most part, it's just a mash with the, with the powder also in it. Um, distributed by Heatness LLC in Brooklyn, New York. So let's go ahead and get this open, and uh, yeah, this is going to be the hottest one out of the three, 100%. Um, now, I do like scorpion pepper mashes, um, but uh, not to say I like the heat. The heat's uh, it's hot. Yeah, that smells, yep, whew. 
Ah, yeah, that is a, uh, that's scorpion pepper mash, all right. All you get is a vinegar in, in the, in the uh, scorpion, so. Okay, so let's see this pour. Oh, no, hold on. There's a hair on my spoon. There we go. Oh, this is going to be warm, my friends. So, yeah, it's pretty thick, pasty-esque sauce. Um, you have some of these, have the, some of the, um, seeds and stuff in it. Almost as like a ketchup consistency a little bit. And then, like I said, all you get is scorpion pepper and vinegar. Whew. Okay. Uh, here it goes. Eye of the scorpion. Uh, from Heatonist. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> That's a <clears throat> That's a warm sauce. <clears throat> Ah. ah, hiccuping. That. That's a warm sauce. Ooh. Wow. That is instantaneous. Eat, eat right off the bat. Um. Flavor-wise, you get the scorpion, but it's such a weird flavor. It's like lava, like almost something that just tastes ridiculously hot. Man, Ooh. that's getting me, man. Ooh, that's a warm sauce. That is a very, very warm so sauce. Wow. Whew. Uh, let me try to compose myself a little bit. Um, it's instantaneous. It's not like... Oh, let me take my glass glasses off. They're fogging up. Whew. Oh. It's instantaneous. Eat right off the bat like as soon as it touched my mouth it was straight fire and um like right it's like not even in my mouth mouth more it's more in the front of my mouth and in my throat all right and last but not least let's move on to the one i saved for last and the one that's probably not going to be as hot as the other ones it might actually might be hotter than the karma sauce because that one didn't have that much heat to it and it is Smokin' Ed's Picnic Sauce. And it's a brand new sauce from Smokin' Ed Curry himself at Pucker Butt Pepper Company. And uh, has the, uh, you know, the typical thing that's on all the Pucker Butt sauces. This nice little uh, thing talking about uh, the peppers he grows. Uh, they have their website on the side, PuckerButtPepperCompany.com. They do a lot of really good deals, and they have a, a thing. They have a, a rewards program you can sign up for on their email list, and they'll send you a lot of really good deals. He does. I know that that Pucker Butts um, sauces are pretty expensive, um, but they're worth it. They're very good. And like I said, if you sign up for that email list, uh, you'll definitely get some like promo codes that will save you in the long run. Um, so let's see what's in this sauce. Like I said, it's just called picnic sauce. He has a nice little blanket laid down and uh, on the grass. And uh, what's inside of it is cucumber. The number one thing is cucumber, which awesome. I know. <clears throat> Ooh, no, it means it's going to be fresh. Um, carrot juice. Even better. So we're starting off cucumber, carrot juice. That's awesome. Um, scotch bonnets. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Scotch bonnet mash. So 
there's your heat a little bit. Not a super hot, but not a, not a sweet pepper. It's, it's a fairly warm pepper. Um, Scotch bonnets are, I mean, they're known for just having that heat to it, kind of like a habanero has. Maybe not as hot, kind of like right in the middle of a habanero and a, and a jalapeno, kind of like right there in the middle. And, um, but they have this like sweetness to it and this like tropicalness that they use. They use them a lot in Jamaican dishes and they use them a lot in uh, Central American dishes. Um, yeah, Scotch bonnets and like West African dishes stuff or not West African. Maybe it's yeah. West African dishes. Um, Scotch bonnets, uh, apple cider vinegar, onions, garlic, dry mustard, kosher salt, uh, ginger, and coriander. So let's get this one popped off. Now, this one is going to have some flavor to it. <sighs> Man, that scorpion sauce is just eating up my chest right now. Cool. Okay, so let's see if this one gets a little pop to it. A little bit. A little pop. Nice. Mmm. Ooh, real gingery. Real gingery. Uh, cucumbery, too. Wow. That's like that one you don't think about, that plate, the, like the smell of cucumbers. Like fresh cut cucumbers, and you put them out on a plate and have some like ranch to dip them in. That's what it smells like, those fresh cut cucumbers. Yeah, so it's not, it's kind of, ooh. I swear, this poor desk is going through it all. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the brand new picnic sauce from Smokin' Ed Curry at Pucker Butts. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> there on the back end of it, a little slow heat from the scotch bonnets. Flavor-wise, wow, that is just straight freshness. Like, consistency-wise, it's weird because it's, like, liquidy, but also chunky. It's, like, there's just chunks in the liquid. It's not, like, a solid. It's, like, liquid... And then you're getting chunks of all sorts of stuff in the liquid. And it just tastes super fresh. Like, just like a like super fresh vegetables and fruits all together. Definitely cucumbery. Get that, that carrot juice. It's a very unique taste. Um... Honestly, I would kind of like it on salad if you want to spice up a salad a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't typically do that, but it would be, I think it would be very good on a salad. <clears throat> Heat's there. Heat's there, though. It's a, <clears throat> it's a slow build. Um, it's not crazy heat, but there is some heat there from the scotch bonnets, and it's a slow build. It doesn't come till afterwards that it's already completely gone. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, Smokin' Ed's. Uh, picnic sauce, um, and like I said, you can head over to PuckerButtPepperCompany.com, pick up your own bottle, or any of the other sauces that Smokin' Ed has through PuckerButts. So, all right, that does it. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back uh, next Sunday with a uh, another sauce review. So, uh, thanks everybody. We'll see you next week.